Here we go again. Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books, letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? Very interesting moment there. Probably one of my favourite dialogues of the game. Philosophical and such, teaching us life lessons. Such, teaching us life lessons. We're so close to the end. We're so close to the end. We're on six, and then we finish. Let's do this. I'm ready, Lucy. Ready to finish this. We have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then? Yes and no. He dreamed, still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned, to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. It will be done, Master. We're now back to a Master Assassin again.
final rank. Got all our gear back, we've redeemed ourselves. Now let's kill Robert de Sable. And finish this once and for all. To Jerusalem we go. One last time. To see the Holy Land again is always good. My favourite city in the game, Jerusalem. Uh, our good old buddy Malik who totally fucking despises us. Once again. Hey Malik, what's up? Safety and peace, Altair. Well, that was really nice. On you as well, brother. Seems fate has a funny way with things. So it's true then. Robert de Sable is in Jerusalem. I've seen the knights myself. Only misfortune follows that man. If he's here, it's because he intends ill. I won't give him the chance to act. Do not let vengeance cloud your thoughts, brother. We both know no good can come of that. I have not forgotten. You have nothing to fear. I do not seek revenge, but knowledge. Truly, you are not the man I once knew. My work has taught me many things, revealed secrets to me. But there are still pieces of this puzzle I do not possess. What do you mean? All the men I've laid to rest have worked together, united by this man. Robert has designs upon the land. This much I know for certain. But how and why, when and where, these things remain out of reach. Crusaders and Saracens working together? They are none of these things, but something else. Templars. The Templars are a part of the Crusader army. Or so they'd like King Richard to believe. No. Their only allegiance is to Robert de Sable and some mad idea that they will stop the war. You spin a strange day. You have no idea, Malik. But tell me where they've been seen. I should be after him before he slips away. Three places I can say for certain. West of here, near both a guard tower and a hospital. And to the southwest, at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. See what you can learn. I will do the same. I'll be quick as I can. Stay safe, my friend. You as well, Malik. Not that you're going to be out there doing much with that one arm. How'd you do that again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's start this final journey. Final investigation. Thank fuck. As much as I do love this game, the investigations do get super repetitive after a while. I enjoy them enough. But when you get to like the last couple, I'm like, okay, for sure. Don't want to do this shit anymore. 100%. Okay, so which direction are we going? That way, is it? Ah, oh, no, I'm good. I'm just gonna go this way if you don't mind. So, you know, let's find a viewpoint, start the investigation, and get shit going. No, guys, I don't, I don't actually want to help her. Keep doing it. Don't chase me. Just kill her or whatever. I don't care. I hate those beggars just as much as you guys do. No, 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 don't. Stop. Stop. Don't. Down, boy. Down. Okay, looks like we're having combat. Come on guys, at least make this a challenge. Oh shit. Oh, bitch slap me. Nice. Come on bro, you can do better than that. I guess not. Well, thanks anyways guys, I enjoyed that. That was a good time. To end the fighting, to stop the war. That we may stand as one. We must not turn them away. Okay, so I'm gonna chase you down. Heretic, we don't want to unite in peace, do we? Oh, we do, okay. Unfortunately, I've still got to kill you though. Because you're probably in the side of uh, the Templars. <laughs> Fuck off. 
I'm gonna cut him a Gregor ass. Fuck you. You speak of peace, but your words are hollow. Sit no. down, bitch. I speak the truth. Why would you say other? You're a Templar. So I am. Then you are also a liar and a fraud, just like your master. Where is he? What does he intend? It's peace he seeks, I swear it. And the proof is in his actions. A Christian at a Muslim's funeral. We want an end to all of this. Only because it serves your needs. But this is a noble thing we want. The land will be united beneath our banner. United through force. You'd enslave us all. It is for the best. No, it's not. And so long as my brothers and I breathe, you will not succeed. Pooned in the wildy. That guy's going down. Oh, sit the fuck down. Punched him off. Oh, God, fine. Oh, you must off. help me. No, I, I don't. was shadowing my prey, a group of Templars, when they saw me. I took flight, and although I evaded them, I twisted my ankle. I'm pathetic, I you know. Are Please pathetic. don't You're tell up. Malik. I did overhear them say they were leaving town. Find them and kill them. Then I will reward you. Fucking useless. It's one. Let's find the other fuckface. Get up, I'll tell you. Get the fuck up and kill him, you fuckface. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Okay, that was really easy. Uh, glad I did that. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'll tell you. You bumped into two people. I wouldn't even do that. Ever grateful. Malik would never have forgiven me. Here's what I know about the burial of Majd. Reaching Robert might prove difficult, given the number of guards around. You should befriend some scholars to approach him. Good climbing, I'll tell you. Good dodging. Get the fuck up here. Oh, I almost got him. Let's do this. Come on, bro. You can do better than that. Oh no you can't, you fucked. Now yeah, for the viewpoint. No! God damn it! Why are you retarded? Well, second time's the charm, I guess. Why don't I have my sword in my hand for this? That's never happened before. Sword leap of faith! Fuck, that's hilarious. Cool. Did you see them? No, but I've heard the whispers. Is it true? Crusader knights in Jerusalem? It is. And? Different from the others. Finely dressed and bearing expensive gifts. <sighs> We should relieve them of this burden. They've made camp near David's citadel, close to the cemetery. To attend the funeral? So it seems. Then let us visit their camp while they pay their respects. Sure? Oh, fuck. It's alright. Got time to run back to the bureau. Ready to go, let's do this last assassination. Yeah, let's do it! Of success about you, brother. I've learned much about our enemy. Share your knowledge, then. Let us see what can be done with it. Robert and his Templars walk the city. They've come to pay their respects to Mejduddin. They'll attend his funeral, which means so will I. What is this that Templars would attend his funeral? I have yet to divine their true intentions, though I'll have a confession in time. The citizens themselves are divided. Many call for their lives. Still others insist that they are here to parley, to make peace. Peace? I told you. The others I've slain have said as much to me. That would make them our allies. And yet we killed them. Make no mistake, we are nothing like these men. Though their goal sounds noble, the means by which they'd achieve it are not. At least, that's what Al-Mu'allam told me. So what is your plan? 
I'll attend the funeral and confront Robert. The sooner the better. Fortune favor your blade, brother. Malik, before I go, there's something I should say. Be out with it. I've been a fool. Normally I'd make no argument, but what is this? What are you talking about? All this time, I never told you I was sorry. Too damn proud. You lost your arm because of me. Lost Qadr. You had every right to be angry. I do not accept your apology. I understand. No. You don't. I do not accept your apology because you are not the same man who went with me into Solomon's temple. And so you have nothing to apologize for. Malik. Hey Perhaps man, your brother's dead. if I had dead. not been so envious of you, I would not have been so careless myself. I'm just as much to blame. Don't say such things. We are one. As we share the glory of our victories, so too should we share the pain of our defeat. In this way, we grow closer. We grow stronger. Thank you, brother. Rest if you need to, Altair, that you might be ready for what lies ahead. Will do, Malik. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Your brother died, though, like, what, a month ago? And you're like, yeah, no, I don't even apologize, man. My bad. Don't, yeah, sure. Cool. Anyways, time to kill people. Here we go. Amen. We gather here to mourn the loss of our beloved Majdiddin. Taken too soon from this world. I know you feel sorrow and pain at his passing, but you should not. For just as we are all brought forth from the womb, so too must we all one day pass from this world. It is only natural, like the rising and the setting of the sun. Take this moment to reflect on his life and give thanks for all the good he did. Know that one day you will stand with him again in paradise. This is some awkward silence going on right now. I know it's a funeral, but for sure. Let's hurry this up. Um, as you know, this man was murdered. We have tried to track his killer, but it has proved difficult. These creatures cling to the shadows and run from any who would face them fairly. But not today, for it seems one stands among us. He mocks us with his presence and must be made to pay. Seize him! Bring him forward that God's justice might be done! Oh, fuck. Well, here we go. Let's do it, guys. Fuck off. Oh shit, we got fucking archers coming at us. Are you serious? Oh shit, yeah, this isn't gonna go well. Oh shit. Oh Jesus fucking Christ, I'm just getting. Hey! Hey, for sure, leave me alone. Fuck off, archers. Ho oh, ho, he just shot his own guy! What a fuck face! Oh shit! And then he- oh, then he shot me? That's a pretty good shot. Oh shit! You're not knocking me off that easy. But I'm knocking you off that easy. Okay, do you guys want to face me? Like real men? And what sounds like a woman from Robert, for some reason. Had no idea why. Fuck off. 
Oh, sit down, bitch. You too, there's a backhand. Oof. That's when you get repair. Ow! That hurt. Dick shot. Sack whack! Oh. oh, shit. I don't know how good this is looking for me. It's not looking that great. Oh! Oh, eat some shoulder. It's just you and me, Robert. It ends. Oh, shit. Sit down. Bitch slap. I feel like that would have hurt my hand more than you because, you know, you're wearing a helmet. Ow! Oh, yeah, that hurt me a little. No, nope, get down, that'd be great. There we go. It's over for you. Oh, got you. Oh, it's all over. I would see your eyes before you die. I sense you expected someone else. Oh, what shit. sorcery is this? No sorcery. We knew you'd come. Robert needed to be sure he'd have time to get away. So he flees. We cannot deny your success. You have laid waste to our plans. First the treasure, then our men. Control of the Holy Land slipped away. But then he saw an opportunity. To reclaim what has been stolen. To turn your victories to our advantage. Al Muallim still holds your treasure, and we've routed your army before. Whatever Robert plans, he'll fail again. Ah, but it's not just Templars you'll contend with now. Speak sense. Robert rides for Arthur to plead his case that Saracen and Crusader unite against the assassins. That will never happen. They have no reason to. Had, perhaps. But now you've given them one. Nine, in fact. The bodies you've left behind, victims on both sides. You've made the assassins an enemy in common and ensured the annihilation of your entire order. Oh well shit. Done. Not nine. Eight. What do you mean? You are not my target. I will not take your life. You're free to go, but do not follow me. I don't need to. You're already too late. We'll see. I killed so many people other than my target, but I let her go. Righto! Double standards. Hashtag sexist. Won't kill a woman. So we're just waiting until someone shows up. Yeah, it's about time. You guys are taking a while. Usually a lot quicker than that. There we go. Oh look, magic! Don't worry about that whole was a hanging body, I'll tell you. I had heard the funeral turn to chaos. What happened? Robert de Sable was never here. He sent another in his stead. He was expecting me. You must go to Al Mualim. There's no time. She told me where he's gone, what he plans. If I return to Masyaf, he might succeed. And then, I fear we'll be destroyed. We have killed most of his men. He cannot hope to mount a proper attack. Wait, did you say she? Yes, it was a woman. Strange, I know. But that's for another time. For now, we must focus on Robert. We may have thinned his ranks, but the man is clever. He goes to plead his case to Richard and Salah Adin, to unite them against the common enemy. Against us. Surely you are mistaken. This makes no sense. These two men would never. Oh, but they would. And we have ourselves to blame. The men I've killed. Men on both sides of the conflict. Men important to both leaders. Robert's plan may be ambitious, but it makes sense. And it could work. Look, brother. Things have changed. You must return to Masyaf. We cannot act without our master's permission. It could compromise the Brotherhood. I thought... I thought you had learned this. Stop hiding behind words, Malik. 
You wield the Creed and its tenants like some shield. He's keeping things from us, important things. You were the one told me we could never know anything, only suspect. Well, I suspect this business with the Templars goes deeper. When I'm done with Robert, I will write from Asyaf that we may have answers. But perhaps you could go now. I cannot leave the city. Then walk amongst its people. Seek out those who served the ones I slew. Learn what you can. You call yourself perceptive. Perhaps you'll see something I could not. I don't know. I must think on this. Do as you must, my friend. But it's time I ride for Arsuf. Every moment I delay, our enemy gets one step ahead of me. Be careful, brother. I will be. I promise. I've got this shit. It's time to go. There's no time, guys! I gotta go! You, there's no time to chase me! I must ride! Ride! No, this way! I need to stop Robert! I will do it! And save the assassins! <laughs>